eViews has always included a number of seasonal adjustment techniques, including the ubiquitous X11, X12, and X13 routines made available by the US Census Bureau, and tramo seats from work base at the Bank of Spain. The techniques included in previous versions of eViews have been the industry standard for macroeconomic data. However, there were a number of disadvantages with these methods. Most notably, being their inability to handle data of frequencies other than monthly or quarterly, and their failure to support data with internal missing values. EViews 10 introduces two new seasonal adjustment routines, MoveReg and STL Decomposition. MoveReg is written by the US Bureau of Labor Statistics and is designed to handle weekly frequency data. Like X11, 12, and 13, and Tramo Seats, MoveReg is an external application installed alongside EViews. EViews simply provides a convenient front end to the application, allowing you to use its powerful adjustment routines coupled with EViews' easy to use interface. STL decomposition is a season trend decomposition method based on Loess regression, introduced by a 1990 paper by Cleveland, Cleveland, McRae, and Turpening. STL has a number of advantages over other seasonal methods. Notably, it works on any frequency of data, is compatible with internal missing values, and allows seasonal patterns to change through time. As an example of using these new adjustment routines, we're going to seasonally adjust US weekly unemployment initial claims data between the 30th of December 1989 and the 22nd of October 2016. We begin by creating a work file to hold our data. To retrieve the US unemployment initial claims data, we use eViews' convenient interface to the St. Louis Federal Reserve database, FRED. We can use FRED to search for our initial claims series. We'll choose the non-seasonally adjusted weekly data. A quick graph of these data show a clear seasonal pattern, along with possibly some trend. We're interested in removing the seasonal component. To begin, we'll use the US Bureau of Labor Statistics move reg routine. We open the series and click on PROC Seasonal Adjustment Move Reg to open its dialog. The Move Reg package has a number of options controlling outlier and holiday effects, but we'll keep things simple and assume neither will impact our series. We'll name the adjusted data series ICNSA underscore MR. Clicking OK produces the Move Reg output. The top portion of the output provides a summary of the procedure we performed. Beneath that, and more importantly, is shown a graph of the seasonally adjusted data alongside the original data. We can double click the graph to open it larger. The orange seasonally adjusted data line clearly follows the pattern of the original data without the large seasonal swings. The move rate procedure has done a good job of deseasonalizing this data. Note also that the seasonally adjusted data was stored in the work file under the name we provided. We'll compare the move reg results to those achieved by STL decomposition, which we can access from the same menu. STL has a number of options to determine the specification of the lowest estimations used to describe the seasonality. For simplicity, we will also leave the options at their defaults. We again change the name of the adjusted data, this time to ICNSA underscore STL. Clicking OK produces the results. The graphs show the decomposed version of the data, starting with the original data, the trend component, the seasonal factors, the remainder, and finally the seasonal adjusted data, which is the original data minus the trend. A quick glance indicates that the adjusted data looks very similar to that produced by MoveReg. If we open the two series up together and display a graph, we can see they do indeed give similar results. although STL appears to have some outlier spikes. Superimposing the original data, we can see that both have done a decent job of smoothing the data. More interestingly, we can fetch the official seasonally adjusted data from Fred.
Showing our adjusted data with the official reveals that our numbers are extremely close. Removing the STL adjusted data shows that the MoveReg adjusted numbers are really close to the official.